can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented it. Kam bych asi tohle to vede? Uj, jak si dal ty ruce? Ty <laughs> masakra, to tady můžeš vlastně proplavat úplně všechno. <laughs> Ta lávka, jak tam chodil Harry Kundera s Prasiolou a s tím druhým. Je pěkný. Myslím, že to moc nedává smysl, protože není odraz od čeho, ale je to pěkný. Incendio. Incendio. Rebellion. Hmm. Accio. Pěkně. I should investigate. Mhm. Nás brajle, pítomí brajle, furt jenom brajle. Nic víc tady není. Hm. Incendio. To asi nebude všechno, co tady dodělat. Jinak by tady nebyl ten znak. Je tady nějaký takový kouzlo, který vypadá podobně, ale ještě ho neumím. Možná jde pouze. Hm. A ještě něco nad náma, že jo? Tady někde. Kr 
bravo. Zanas da. Very bitly. European Cup winners. Ha. Komorky, jaké dělají bordel. Hm, na to říct nemůžu, to stejně o tobě, ale... Pěkná lokalita. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. We should have been under better circumstances. Všechno je mu líto, ale všem pomáhá. Jediná hra, která tu zlou stranu měla dobře zpracovanou, tak bylo SV Thor. Star Wars Online. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I hope to see you again sometime. I'm a little bit better. Uh-huh. But here I can just spend that upgrade slot here. There, no. Takhle, když mi to vadí, 
Jakože mi to vadí a nechci to, tak tam dám prostě, že nic nechci. Perfektní, to jsem potřeboval. To jsem potřeboval, že já tam můžu narovat jakýkoliv brnění v úzovkách. A pak tam jenom dám, že to nechci zobrazit, dám si tam, a to jsem potřeboval najít. No, vidíš to konečně vypadá, že člověk. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to On. Matko, děcko ti chrápe na zemi. Neprojdu. Hmm, vás tady milo rád zbaví těch nepotřebných věcí. Ano. Tady pak tady je ta truhlice. Pětset metrů od co to? Ká. Jdeme mu pro obrazy. Že balcí. Že by se mi ještě nekul. Nebo jo? To jsou i od Duckbog. Duckbogy už, jo, 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 to by jsem zabil. Ha, pěkně. Incendio. Uj, jazyk. Co tady máme za stromek? To jsou dukáty? Zlatonka. Hm. Zajímavé. Pane bože, kolik tady toho je? <laughs> Jsou živý nebo ne? Co jste si tady nakradli? Jsi škoda. Vlk, že jo, jasný. Incendio. Co proto tam ještě? 
To jsem šel jenom pro obrazy. A je nějaký? Jaká jeskyně? Tunel? Odma se tam dostanu. Aha, 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 tady. Dobře, že tady pozbíráme. Tudy, tudy. Mm -hmm. Lumos. Hm. Mám něco modrého. Mám ten, ne, to je fialová. Nemám nic. Neviditelnost, dlouhé, levý ouzo možná. Zkouším. Mm -mm. Ty nic? Hm. Tak víme o tom, že to tady je, no. Pro budoucí cesty lesem. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Which is not. Co je tam na to dole to modré? To je jako, že se mi dobí mana. Goblini hnusní. Ještě tři. Oh, 
I won't rest. Potato. Leviosa. I shall avenge your death. You're sent me. That was quite something. Now, to free arms cards. Taky ne, nehnu s tím. Dostanu. Aha. Nic tady nemají. Ale bože, blbý goblíní. An enchantment. The cards are returning to arm. Oh, trophy sum. That's Braille. Is it rest? Don't say more. Já jsem měl, jak se tady mějí počasí. Heldcroft. Kinbridge. Hogwarts. Černá šupina. Hm. Nevím, k čemu ten Moonstone je, ale jelikož je tady všude ho tolik. Tak něčemu asi použít to nebude. If you're here for my wares, on, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. 
Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my pants. Tak ty A co kdybych si tak trošku dal nějaký galón? You've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. <laughs> Not sure that's worthy of a painting. You'd be surprised at how art can touch people. I think it's well worthy. Thank you again for all of your help. All the best to you. Once my cars arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Hmm, tak už by přijeli. Máme tady ještě něco. Vlze čtyři. To byl já po každé, když si změním nějaký ten. Bože, bože. Z1.18. Extraordinary super. Trade slot level 2. To vypadá hnusně. Hm, Dvacet tři dvanáct. Můžu se tam stojí dvacku, jo? Tak já to sbírám. Žinu by pěkně do toho bohatej, jo? Co si brzo dovíme, tady od té. Přijde. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. 
But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Rádom čo, no? Hele, ty siš tady, no? They must have come this way, think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid right. You there! I see. Let me I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I'm not going anywhere with you. Let me help you take this. You can drop the fight. Protego, drop it. You will pay for your sin. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. 
I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Akio! Let me see. Incendium. Beard. The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of the ships and books. I can beseech you for some assistance. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. 
A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. No, I've just not the shirt. vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Chcę po to pójmy. Co? Severowýchodně od přístavu. Aha. Už to vidím. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Mhm. Mm Takže se nemůžu potopit, jak jsem si představoval, ale dělá to za mě, když. Mm -hmm. Co se dá dělat? Know that I found her family astrolabe. Jo, za moment. Za moment to dáme vědět. Tady prohledám ty bubliny. Co to tamhle? Ty za balóny. Ještě tady někde slyším bublání. Aha, aha. Ale tady dokonce hora, jo. <laughs> tak to chci vidět ještě jednou. <laughs> Co tady hází žabky, ten uvěřitelný. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you <see> how <laughs> I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for mm -hmm. finding the buried treasure. 
Tak se samozřejmě. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Ty vypadáš, ty vole. <laughs> mhm, omezení levelem. Co tři třináct? Proč mají všichni pihy? To je hře. To je všichni, ale. Hej, mami, to jsem našel od dvě, ty jo. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Aren't you the student who chased Ranrock's loyalists out of Lower Hogsfield? Yes, I thought that was you. Well done. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? That will be all. Thank you for your time. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Třicet čtyři, čtrnáct, čtrnáct. I hope to see you again sometime. Takže pěkně velký tohleto. Lidi si stěžovali na to, jak je ta mapa malá. Přitom jsem jenom tady ty a mám tady nahráno kolik? 8 hodin. Neskutečný. Nahoru jsme jít Hogwarts. Hogwarts a jdeme na quest. Herblogy. A jo. Byl jsem tady? Tak tady jsem ještě nebyl. Hm. 
どれだけなのマスにプロデュースダルネママにオビエノンクルトテレポータチッチサムスクラニコのサムズレミエペミラジジワラリザチャレイ。Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. We got the Chardonnay on dinner. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Just them for you, might be. Now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy or roses? The other day. Those spores certainly make you dizzy. 
I can't memorize ten magical herbs, let alone one thousand magical herbs and a thunder. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Zase pihovatej. Všichni tohle řez jsou pihovatí. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Asi kromě opět. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Uh, no offense. Sorry. <laughs> Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. To? I think it's the dummy of the chomping cabbage. Tak u fakt? Nemám kouzla. Hold up, yes, yeah. Aha, I'm away. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone. Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy.
I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Off on another adventure, are we? Always. Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Teleport to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Thank you, Professor, but looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. <laughs> Relishing their new pots only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are. Potions class. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank them. Otázník, a kde je druhý otazník? Pak máme druhý. Ho. Nahoře. Mhm. Takže zase vytáhneme na povědu. Už jsme si tak poctivě fotili. Jedenáct plus dva, třináct a kolik je dvacet jedna osm, osmička je pavouk. Takže tady máme pavouka. Mhm. 
Kr obě pětka, sa, devítka, čtrnáct a tři. Trojka je tří hlavej drak. Někde něco musí být, jasně, že je tady hlá. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. <laughs> Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Professor 
Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld Potion can treat injuries. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion safe. Proč tady mělo větší kůži, to tak nevím. Borgen and Burks. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganweld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Here's the fwapper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Professor, what should I be doing again? You should have collected the ingredients from my office and begun brewing a potion at your cauldron. Finish your potion and then return to me. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. <laughs> And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. 
Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. <clears throat> Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fink. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Blank. Goblinska mrcha hinna. Co plánuje? Tady je to zamčený. Hodina 18. Tak to vypadá na poslední quest. Revelio. Co jsem za čtyři tyhle druhly? Rebellion. 
Ja, aber das geht ja de facto. Scrope? Who is Scrope? Další brno, to už je třetí. No takhle, jakože bych si to... Přisunul jsem k tomu. Pumpkins. Ah, I think I know just the place. Ah. <laughs> Down to the water's edge. Hmm, this had better not be a trick. Yeah, that it was the middle. Coming all this way. Yo, ma. <laughs> the name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Undermining the headmaster and hmm. getting something in return. Continue. Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring. Hello. I wasn't going to check out. Hmm. 
Jsem bez money, očividně. Bar, to je naplnění, kde můžu využít blesk nebo nějaký takový special ten. Hm. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map. To what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Now she mop up a cloud, huh? It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Where did you suggest we meet? I suppose if that's the only... I'm sure the pages... If you don't mind...
Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. What do you have in store for me this time? Akio! To ani nehne, takže zvednout a potom posunout jedině. Se na to potřebuje jiný kouzlo. Tak jo, pro dnešek už všecko.